Libra, how are you getting on? So do you ever feel like you're going mad, Libra, when you have to keep repeating the same thing? And I think some of that is to do with this communication, saying the same thing over and over again. Um, but uh, I've got a few channel messages for you. I can't remember what your channel messages was through the channel. Uh, I've noticed that there's quite a few views on Libra, so I thought I would just catch up and just do a few odd readings for people that have there been most views. So the most views, well, we seem to have had the most views, Steve, on our property. If you're selling a property, there seems to have been quite a few viewings. Viewing, 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 viewing. A view to a kill is what I'm also hearing. Probably Scorpio energy, but a view to a kill. <laughs> or Gil, the name Gil. I'm hearing Gil, Bill, Gil. That's come up before, but Gil, 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 kill, 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 kill. But uh, a view, a view to a kill is what I'm hearing. A view, a viewing. It's like a showing, a showroom where it's like, well, we've got a showing. So um, you've probably got a show on as well. You're probably going dancing for some reason. I've got no idea why I'm thinking of that. Um, but a view is what they're saying. Now, uh, a few channel messages that I've got for you is. Uh, Fight Club was, every time I start talking about boxing, just Joe Lewis, something, to, <laughs> something about coming to America, but uh, Fight Club is what, fight. every time I try to tell you and say something, you don't listen, so it's like, well, when I speak, and when I say something, you ask me a question, and then it's either before I've had a chance to speak, you've, you've over spoke, and then it's kind of like, but when I do speak, and when we do talk, and when we do get on, it's like we get on to not get on. It's like you get on my nerves. <laughs> like I've got a song that will get on your nerves. Get on your nerves. But it's like I try to talk to you. And I try to communicate with you. And then when I do, you don't listen. So it's like, what's the point? What is the point in me talking? This, is, this was a full channel message. Every time I try to talk to you, fight club. But that's what it feels like. That It's like being in a club. right? I don't know why some people are in a club. Like a working men's club or a, like a boozer. But um, it's like every time I try to talk to you, and every time I say, this can even be a sports event. <laughs> I don't know why I'm picking up on a sports event. But it's like every time I try to talk to you, it's kind of like you start an argument. And then I, there's no getting through to you. There's just, there's just no getting through is all I'm hearing. It's, it's, that, it's kind of like when you talk to someone and they're asking you to speak all the time. And they're like, well, when I do speak, you don't listen because you don't take into consideration what I am saying when I do it. So when I do do that, <laughs> and then you don't listen, what is the point in me speaking? And I don't know who's doing this, but that is the energy that is felt around you, Libra. So more of to the point is, is what's the point? What is the point in this is what you're going through, Libra? Because it feels like that you're going through something, right? You're going through, 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 through. Throwing. I don't know why I'm picking up on people throwing or pitching, like pitch, but throwing. Throw, throw, throw. Unless you're throwing stuff around the house, I've got no idea, or someone's being thrown out. Uh, it could be Scorpio energy. Everybody out. But I'm picking up, like, it's going to be thrown out. It's like, no, no, it's thrown out. I don't know why I'm picking up on a sports match. And it's like, well, that's going to be thrown out. So what are you throwing out, Libra? Unless some, it, it, the energy of what I'm hearing is like, no, that's the out of court. Oh, <laughs> so some of you, this is a tennis match. <laughs> but, but if not, it's thrown out of court. Because I'm picking up an actual tennis match and it's out of court. Right? <laughs> Why on earth am I picking up that? But uh, thrown out of court. There you go, for a lot of you. It is. It, it could be a lot to do with court. <laughs> but... Um, Thrown out. It's like, well, every time I try to talk to you, it gets thrown out. It's like, uh, court adjourned. It's like, oh, no, I just need to say something. No, 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 you're going to have to wait. And it's like, oh, man, is there any news on this court appearance yet? And it's like, oh, listen, I've got some stuff to report. <laughs> but I don't know, thrown out of court. So some of you, if you are facing judgment, if you are facing court appearances, it feels like it's going to be thrown out because there's not enough evidence. It feels like there's a lot of evidence in one manner, but there's not enough evidence in order to keep it going. But some of that is also to do with this arguments and stuff that you seem to probably be getting in, which is that it seems to be thrown out. It's like well, it's like an off-the-cuff remark. It could be to do with a Capricorn. Okay, if you've been following the if you've been following for a while, you know why I relate to that. Um, but it's like off the cuffs, off the see it is, it's something to do with court. It's like off to prison or off to court with the cuffs. Cuff, 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 cuff. But also curse, curse, Kirsty. I'm also hearing Kirsty, Christy, Kristen, Christy, or Chris, Chrysanthemum. Why am I hearing Chrysanthemum? Chrysanthemum. 
somebody chrysanthemum? I don't know. But I'm hearing uh, curse, 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 Kirsty. Every time I curse, Kirsty curses. C custody cases, custody cases. See, a lot of you, these are names as well, but they're also custody cases. Someone is a lawyer up here, I feel, I feel. Or Laura, I'm hearing Laura, also Laura, lawyer. Lawyer, Laura, liar, Laura, uh, lion, a lion, uh, Leo, is a Laura. Um, why am I hearing Flora? <laughs> why am I hearing Flora? Like, <laughs> Flora. Or, well, yeah, Britain used to be a different name for Flora. Someone used to... Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm hearing it's out of court. Out of court. Out of touch, out of reach, can't reach you, can't get through to you. I definitely feel like someone has this temper, okay, temperance and picking up Sagittarius energy. But I'm, I'm hearing that, like, someone's got this temper, right? And it's like, listen, you just push my buttons. It's like, I'm trying to talk. And it's like, no, but I've got so much to say. It's like, man, it's like, when I do talk to you, you don't listen. It just doesn't sink in. I've told you not to do all of that. You could be dealing with Scorpio. But I told you not to do all of that. And when you do it, it's like, it's like, it just falls on deaf ears. It's like, hello, hello, I'm here. And it's like, yeah, I know you're there, bruv. I'm speaking to you. But I've spoke to you so many times before. It's like, when I do, you don't, it's kind of like your words go out and they go into someone's head. But it's like, oh, no, no, I've bypassed all of that nonsense. Well, no, it's not nonsense. I said it. It's like, no, no, don't worry about all that. I'll, I'll bypass all what you said, okay, and then I'll just do that anyway. And it's kind of like you get into this spat with this person, and you're like, man, I can't win. And then they blame you, probably, for not talking enough or talking too much. And you're like, man, like, you know, either, like, say something or say nothing. Because that's the message, really. Say, say, say what you want, but uh, you said too much. Mm, that's what I'm hearing. You said too much. It's like, pff, you have said too much. You said way too much. Okay, there's strange intergalactic messages that might be there for you, Libra. Um, but let's see. So what's been going on in the past with Libra? What's been going on in the past with Libra? <laughs> You're dealing with a Piscean, okay, in the past. Just I'm just stuck in the middle with you between a rock and a hard place. I'm hanging in. It's like... Keep me hanging on. Why do you keep me hanging on? Hang on. Hang on. Clanger? <laughs> Clanger. But um, some of them are like hanging on. You just keep me hanging on. It's like, hang on a minute. It's like, oh, what? It's like, hang on a minute. I'll be there with you in a second. It's like, oh, just, just hurry up. And you're like, this could be at home is what I'm feeling. It's like, I'll be there in a minute. And it's like, oh, man, are you not ready yet? It's like, no, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Why is someone hanging on? <laughs> I'm just hanging on for dear life here. <laughs> Let's see. But you could be dealing with the Pisces, but either way, you're stuck. It's like, well, I'm just hanging on. Feels like someone's always late, like fashionably late. You know. Oh, okay. Someone could be late when it comes to pregnancy. Could be late. Mm -hmm. Late. That's what I'm hearing. This, the news came in too late. They say, you're too late. I'm already taken, is what I heard. Ooh, taken. It's related to the film and also stuff, but it's too late, I'm already taken? That's what I heard. Too late, I'm already taken. You're better off being single, Libra. <laughs> Just like me. Do you know what? For the first time in my life, I haven't actually really been looking for a relationship. Um... And that's normally when it starts to happen, right? But uh, King of Wands, man, the hours two going at it here. <laughs> You've been going at it like rabbits, apparently. I don't know, but you got Leo energy. But Gemini, uh, Gemini? Uh, Gemini, but Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I'm stuck with you. It's like, oh, I'm just stuck with you. It's kind of like someone's just arrived, like a family member. It's like, oh, man, are you here, are you? It's like, yeah, I'm here to stay. It's like, are you? <laughs> you put your feet up? <laughs> Have you put your feet up? Because Someone, someone's put their foot in it. That's what it feels like. One foot in the grain. Pisces could have Scorpio in their chart. But uh, it's like, oh yeah, but I want you here with me to stay. It's like, oh, well, are you here to stay or leave? See, five. No. So all nine. Ooh, deny. Nine. Deny. This is nine. Someone, see, someone's thinking that they're denying a relationship. This person here doesn't really want a relationship. What they want is a one-night stand, maybe, and a sexual partner, but they're not really looking for a relationship. 
in the past here. This person, I don't know why I'm picking up this is Reese, 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 Rihanna. But, um, yeah, Morgana, I'm also here in Morgana. Um, but recently, we've just split up. This is like, well, who's controlling who? Someone's trying to control things. You, I mean, you've got the Nine of Wands, obviously. You've got uh, Virgo, Fire Sign, Energy. But, um, yeah. This is courage and strength to be able to approach someone to actually say something. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't know what you're going to say, when you're going to say it, how I'm going to feel about it. Hang on. PTSD, traumatized by past relationships. Traumatized. There's a lot of trauma. Uh, Trump? <laughs> Is Trump doing anything at the moment? But traumatized. No. That is 100% Pisces mum here. This Pisces here, she is a mum here. This is either a Pisces and, and they have a mum that's a Pisces. But that's 100% Pisces. 100% Pisces there. Oh, if we're not, sorry, if I didn't say we're looking at the past. But uh, King of Wands. What's King of Wands from the past? Man, there's too many. It's only a short one. King of Wands, what's the King of Wands for the past for Libra? Scorpio, there's Scorpio. That's the end of a relationship, pretty much. End of a connection. Well, it's not the end. Someone's still ruminating on it. Someone is paranoid up to the nines. They really are. It's coming from a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Leo, for me. But, um, yeah, this can be Leo energy because it's courage and strength. And there's a wolf there. This is the wolf in sheep's clothing. Someone that appears that everything is fine, but it really isn't. So this person in society can appear to be one way, but in a relationship, they completely appear to be this. Here. Okay. I appear missing. So well, you're not missing in the relationship. Yeah, well, I am. And they, you, they go into this, you can go into this blame game. Yeah, but you've not got time for a relationship. Do you want a relationship or not? And it's like, what do you mean, do I want a relationship or not? Everything was fine. Why did you go and ruin it? Everything was going along just fine, but you ruined it. I was like, no, and then you get into a spat with them. Someone is so paranoid here over, or has been, sorry, over a relationship, nine and nine, because of a relationship here, that they've just based all of their energy on a relationship. Well, that's everything to me. It's just a relationship. When can I see you? I want to see you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then when I can't see you, and then when you don't pick up the phone, I'm going to blame you and say, well, you know, that's what I'm saying. Someone has completely been up in their head about relationship that this person will be that way in a relationship, unfortunately. Like all of the time. Nine of Wands. Yeah, so Nine of Wands. So, well, best left unsaid. The best things are left unsaid, Libra, when people just walk away from people and they say, you know what, if there was ghosting involved, then the reason why I hung up of what you probably don't understand is because I don't want yelling and screaming at. I don't want being told what to do. I have my own mind, I have my own feelings, and I have my own thoughts. And if you're going to keep losing the plot every time I talk to you, then it's probably related to the people that hit the Libra dislike button. There's a couple of people that when I put out a Libra one, they hit the dislike before they've even seen the reading. So those sort of people, you know. But that could well be a cross watcher that's absolutely lost their mind and they just sit and watch for some reason and just keep inflicting more pain on themselves by keep doing it. And that is that energy there, you know. Keep inflicting pain upon a relationship when it's much easier just to let it go. And I think that's what you've kind of done, Libra, or this person has, you know. Someone's, I mean, this Pisces is sitting nicely in something. Do you, do you need to know what that Empress is for? The Empress. Capricorn, Pisces, Pisces and Capricorn. If there is a third party, these two are in a karmic bind together. Capricorn, Pisces, 100%. What's the, what's the devil for? Can't even believe that now. <laughs> the devil. Yeah, that's a court appearance for a lot of you. That's one of these people that believe they're a power couple. <laughs> but anyway, the King of Swords. family told you 
these people are family members, Pisces and Capricorn. They're in something together with a family. So this person could be an ex. It could be someone that already has children with someone. That could be the... See, the, the high priestess is always Meg Ryan for me. Meg Ryan and Billy Crystal. The piece on the side. You all seen that film, right? You must have seen that film. Uh, I forget what it was called now, but Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan. The piece on the side. Oh, no, 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 no. I like a piece of pie. Pecan pie. But I want my cream on the side. Mm -hmm. This person could have someone on the side. Okay. But um, this can be someone that has family already and an ex already and a marriage already and a relationship already. They have children. This person has children with someone here, individual to this energy. That's trying to control everything. <laughs> this person here is trying to control everything. Someone here. It's a very toxic situation that you seem to have got yourself in, Libra. Make sure I've got the right deck. Okay, so let's see what's presently happening with Libra. What's going on at the moment with Libra? Virgo, oh, here, right next to the nine. I said Virgo, didn't I? So cross watchers, Virgo. I don't mean you. If you're going to lose your mind, you shouldn't be cross watching. Okay. If you can go with the energy and it's fine, you can. Well, people can do what they want anyway. All I'm saying is, is that you know I'm sick of having to muddy coddle other readings that come up in other people's readings and they cross watch it and say I'm cross watching. It's up to you. Um, but all I'm saying is it's up to you, but I'm not going to get involved. I'm not a mediator. You can do it. I'll, I'll do what you want. You're all old enough. <laughs> but that's coming from Leo, uh, Leo energy, Virgo energy. Well, Leo, Virgo. What's presently going on? Because this is depression. This is clinical depression. Clinical depression. Some people, they might not even go to the doctors with depression. I've been through it, honestly. No, I'm not depressed, not me, but refuses to go to the doctors for, for depression, even though they have, they can't go. A lot of people, they won't admit to a lot of things. So they realize that they are, but they just won't go. And this person here is like wanting to go, but won't go kind of energy, right? Because you've definitely got some sort of third party energy um, here. Wants to go, but won't go. Wants to go, but won't go. Wants to go, but won't go. This person has lost their mind slightly. Sorry, but they have lost their mind here. Because this is narcissism and control, big time. Depression. Like, this is someone that fuck gets triggered and starts yelling and screaming. And, like, you know, they're going through the Twin Flames Soulmate Saga, but have more than likely watched 10 million channels, 10 million readings, never got anywhere with any of the signs, and realized, well, that's really not a good enough message. I need to go and watch the other person that I really like. And then brings it to this channel and wonders why I get confused with energies and can't sometimes channel for people. It's because I'm picking up on everything that's accumulated in your head. And all of this here is accumulated upon one's head. This is a very burdensome relationship that you've got here with somebody. It doesn't even have to be a love interest. It could be anybody. Let's see presently what's going on. Presently, what's going on with Libra? Oh, really? Same cards. Same cycle. Same news. Same news is bad news. Every, every bit of bad news is bad news to this person. There is no news that's good news. Everything at the moment in this person's energy will be bad news for quite some time. Every news is bad news. This is someone that looks on the negative parts of life constantly. They look to prod for the negative answer. They prod you in order to get a negative response here. They, well, I mean, it's your star sign, but here there's someone that annoys someone because they prod here. Pry, prior, or pry, or cry, I heard. Crying and crying and crying and crying. Someone is like um, been trapped very badly, is what I feel. But I mean, this person, it could be happening to this person. You know? Who knows? Oh man, that is a bad energy. Because that's high low. That means optimism for the future and trying to have optimism. 
That's a low carb, that's high lows. Someone suffers from depression or bipolar here, bipolar, okay? I mean, even if it's you and you haven't got these in your sight, that is a high low energy, okay? That is greed, gluttony, okay? Nine of wands, which is someone's refusing nine of, nine of uh, cups for me is someone that refuses. But they refuse because that's the way they are. You got nine, 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 which is a cry for help in Britain. That is the social social services. That's the social service. It's not a social services number, but I'm picking up the channel message of social services for a child. This could be a younger person. It doesn't even have to matter that social services are involved. It just means that this person is a younger person, and they need some help. Mm -hmm. But I'm picking up social, like social distancing, social. Um, what do you call it? Um, someone that is antisocial, that stays in, doesn't go out. This, this person here can have what my brother had suffered from, which he wouldn't even come out of the bedroom. You know, he didn't have a job or anything. And he just stayed in one very small room for years. I've got uh, phobia, phobia, home phobic. Um, here, but this person here can have social anxiety. Social anxiety. So really, if anybody, you don't need a tarot reading, you need doctor. You need a doctor, this person. You need to, to seek a doctor. Yeah, not talking. Nine, 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 nine. Cry for help. This is happening to a child as well. This is a child that's caught right in the middle of this cycle here. Right in the middle right in the middle of it this can be an ex that has a child someone that won't listen but this is stress 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 the devil. The devil. see the devil has got in someone's head now which is by accumulating loads right which is loads of information accumulating to the point where you've made this you've made this toxic and this is normally what happens with twin flame soulmate connections they turn toxic Right, a lot of them, a lot of them do. A lot of relationships actually do. There's, there is really not that many that make it. I mean, you find a perfect person that is okay with you talking now and again, or talking all the time, or someone that you really do want to and don't want to. Again, okay, it's very difficult to find someone that really matches what you want. You know. Here, this is going on at home with a Capricorn. Could be the child. Could be a Capricorn here. Be a Capricorn fire sign. Yeah, waiting. Just waiting. You just wait is all I heard. You just wait. You just wait. Someone's very annoyed. They are. That's what I can hear. Very a uh, wait also. Um drugs. Can be drugs. You just wait, meaning some weight. Can also be physical weight, but also weight isn't if it is anything to do with drugs or alcohol. Weighing scales. You just wait. I'm just waiting for my day, this person here. Just wait for my day to conquer all. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you, I'm just laughing at my spirit. Let's see what's going on. Turning the future of this connection. Star. I don't think you could get out of this, honestly. This fixation. I've heard um, uh, asphyxiation. Someone about breathing. Asphyxiation likes weird, kinky sex here as well is here for some people um, but fixed star sign Aquarius Pisces leaving again coming and going and coming and going just as you please you come in and then you go and then you come in and then you go and then we split up and then we argue and then you leave again and then you walk off again and 
I'm trying to make things happy and I'm trying to give you what you want but you don't obviously don't want it and then you do want it and then you don't want it and then it's like you're confusing me so much it's like do you want a relationship or don't you want a relationship because you've got energies of Aquarius here because you've got um, well this is always known to me as an Aquarian energy because it's a fixed sign right um, which is Scorpio Aquarian energies as well but you've got eight and one which is nine which is repetitive there it still can be the same person that can have Virgo uh, Aquarius in their show so, Leo seven of cups the sun <coughs> Someone is very confused about what they want to do. This is kind of the aftermath of a relationship, really, where people walk off and they, they need time and they need distance, and they're like, I'm just going to distance myself from the whole thing, to be honest. I do have, like, I'm keeping my options open. There's someone that is. You could all be keeping your options open, if I'm honest. The star. Well, there's quite a bit of truth. Can you handle this truth? I don't know. A new beginning in life, fresh new person, two of cups, man. You know, I'm getting pulled back into that. Someone could have met an Aquarian, two of cups, can meet, ten of cups. Yeah, someone is hiding around Aquarius, Pisces, energy, the moon, Capricorn, Aquarian, but Pisces are also known as Aquarius, yeah, sun signs in Vedic. Um, I, um, Someone's got children, I'm sort of saying, strength card. Oh, Leo's in big energies of third party energy here. A Leo is either hurt and finding it very difficult to get over something here. Three of Swords. You've got the Sun and the Moon, which are counterparts, which means an ex is involved, meaning in an ex relationship of father and kids someone that has had kids with say another father and got a boyfriend and the ex is involved and that's the father and the mother here so they're all involved and if you've got an ex and they're involved their ex three of swords three three third party situation still someone is still connected with somebody else basically for a lot of, well yeah Same repetitive energy from the past reflecting in the future again. There's no lesson that has really been learned here. There's things that are still hidden. Your karma is still going on. Sorry, I just had my hair cut, man. I should cut it too short and it really bothers me. Um, but, uh, yeah. This is like someone, it's, you have got the Two of Cups energy and you're going to go through it. You'll be like struggling for quite some time in this, quite some time. Because you're pretty much going through what I went through when I was with Libra, my first one. Seven years that took me with Libra. Um, that was my first karmic situation. Um, and that was seven years. So I'm not trying to put the jeepers up you, but I'm saying, um, you know, it took me that long to get out of this. Drama triangle. Around and around the prickly bush we go. Around and around again. Around and around again. Round one, round two, round three, round four scapegoat victim aggressor i feel devastated i can't get over it i need time should we get back together no aggressive i'm going back to the other person and it's really goes around and around and around y'all know that by now right but uh, a lot of stress over someone moving on a lot of stress over family also bills maintenance child support for with an ex involved that wants child support from the ex that may or may not be giving it here I can't gonna leave it at that Libra that is your very short kind of like I don't know whatever this was but that's your short past present sort of future energy or even still present energy because if the present is and all this is here this is oh, gonna be your future for a bit <laughs> I'm sorry but it is okay um, 
Yeah, if you want a personal reading, you can reach out from the link below. If you want to see the rest of your monthlies or the rest of the year, they're all over on tier two over on Patreon. But uh, you all know the channel by now. But you can find the um, channeled stuff that I've already done that's going to be separate and now from the monthly readings that come out next month and whatever, everything's going to be separate. Okay? All right, guys, thanks very much. See you soon.